Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey, and welcome back, or welcome, to my new studio. So I got things changed up, kicked everything up a little bit, and it looks, I think, a little bit nicer. So what we have here, in addition to the new digs, is the brand new Bold N1. You see how the light catches the holographic lettering on there? So we got the Bold N1. This is the very first device <clears throat> ever made by the new company, Bold. It's a more premium line, still fixed on the budget audience for people who don't want to spend a thousand dollars on the phone which is crazy because phones are so expensive nowadays so you can get all these wonderful premium features in a three hundred dollar or less phone as opposed to paying seven hundred eight hundred nine hundred a thousand sky's limit now so here we are with the bold in one that's the best i can do with sound effects so what do we got we got a 6.4 inch full hd plus amoled screen not an lcd an amoled screen it's got Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It's got the MediaTek Helio P70 processor, so you get tons of power. It's clocked at 2.1 gigahertz. It's got AI technology, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, dual AI cameras, artificial intelligence, so you get some cool features there. It has a 16 megapixel uh, camera and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. You have a 13 megapixel pop-up selfie camera, so the camera pops up and down, you don't have to worry about it taking up your screen real estate, so you get that full gigantic screen to body ratio, which is just fantastic. It's got an in-display fingerprint sensor, so you can press your thumb on the screen, unlock your phone. So that's really nice, modern technology. It's got expandable SD card storage up to 128 gigabytes, 18 watts, ultra quick charging, it has wireless charging, it has a 3500 milliamp battery, then you have Android 9.0 and a premium metal and glass finish. So there we go. One more look at this. All right. So let's open up the box and take a look at the brand new Bold in one All right. So let's get to the unboxing of the brand new Bold in one So you can see it's got this holographic design all over the back. Reiterate all the specs that we just covered. In the introductory there take the stickers off so you can get inside the box and we can see what all the glorious stuff is that comes with the new bold in one and all of its accessories documentation and all that cool stuff i'm really excited about this one it's their first ever phone and i'm super happy they sent it out to me so i could review it and do my unboxing first impressions all that good stuff so here we go the bold n1 there you have it ladies and gentlemen here it is in this nice beautiful black color of course you can't see it so well because of the plastic wrap that's over it but we're going to go ahead and get that off so we can see what this phone looks like underneath the surface all right so after a little bit of manipulation i'm able to get this sticker off and voila complete with the in-screen fingerprint sensor so this one has the in-screen fingerprint sensor much like the oneplus 7t and other similar devices have. It's not the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor like Samsung has. So this one is lightning fast, at least it's supposed to be. We'll test that out here in a minute. There's the new bold display whenever it pops up from turning the power button on. And it's almost like a piano black looking finish on the back of it. It looks so nice and shiny. If you've ever seen like a Steinway piano and you've got that beautiful black finish with the gloss on it, then you know what I'm talking about. It looks fantastic. Now there's some dust particles on there from taking it out of the box. But you can see there, there's the 16 megapixel camera, LED flash, the five megapixel sensor. And then go in here, look in the drop down and the settings. Let's go ahead and set up the fingerprint sensor and see how well it works. So go to security information and then fingerprint. So you have to have a secondary biometric set up as well. We'll go ahead and set up a pin. All right, so now that we got that set up, let's go ahead and register our fingerprint and see how well this works. You can see a little green light that lights up as you do it. So this definitely takes a little bit more thumb presses than a traditional fingerprint sensor does, but I can understand that because you want to make sure it's as accurate as possible. I think it uses infrared light technology, if I understand this correctly. But we're almost done registering our fingerprint. I like that they have like that little turquoise color to fill in where the fingerprint lines are at, where we've already registered. All right, and our fingerprint is registered, so let's go ahead and turn the screen off. Well, I'll turn the brightness down so we can see better, and then we'll turn the screen off. So there we go, screen off. Let's test the fingerprint sensor. 
Shazam! It works perfectly fine. And not too shabby, it's pretty quick. Alright, so let's go back in the settings. I wonder if this does facial recognition technology. No, it doesn't seem like it does. It's kind of surprising to me, other phones that have the pop-up camera selfie, uh, selfie camera seem to have the uh, facial recognition, but this doesn't seem to be an option, maybe in a future model. Now, here we have our earbuds that come with it. You can talk on these because it's got a built-in microphone. If I can find where it's at on the wire there. There we go. So it's got a built-in microphone so you can answer phone calls, talk on the phone, you can listen to your tunes, all that good stuff. We've got our SIM ejector tool. We've got our power brick, which is capable of producing 18 watts of power. So you get super quick charge power with this. It will get you recharged quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right, so there's a power brick. Let's see what else we got in here. And this should be the charging cable. Yep, we got our charging cable. It's got the little metal braided look to it with the plastic cover over it, so you shouldn't have to worry about messing up your charging cable. It's USB-C, some silica gel hiding in the box. There's a little bold swag sticker if you want to use that. There's the, oh my gosh, and some more silica gel. So it looks like that was hiding out in there. Stowaway silica gel. There's the documentation if you feel so inclined to read it. And then we have a case. So we got a clear case that comes with our bold N1. So from the get-go, you're protected and ready to go. Hopefully there will be some more aftermarket accessories that are available for this device. But in the meantime, or if there isn't, we at least have this clear case that comes with it. There's a fingerprint sensor again. Let's go ahead and check out this pop-up selfie camera. Bam. Pop-up selfie camera in action all and all of its 13 megapixels of glory. I'm actually really, really impressed with this. I'm hoping that it takes some good pictures. I'm going to take some pictures with it so I can go ahead and toss those in so you can see what it looks like. And, oh, we've got a glass screen protector. So I'm going to go ahead and install this on the phone too so we can double check and see how the fingerprint sensor works with it. But I'm assuming since they included the glass screen protector with it, then it should work just fine, I would imagine. All right, folks. So there you have it. We have the bold n1 which is the first ever phone made by bold it's so there you go so that's all i've got on the bold n1 thank you for watching this unboxing video if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down in the comments section i'll get back with you as always thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time